Hey, this is Dan Carter with Countryside Equine Hospital here in Covington, Georgia. We have Fargo with us today. Fargo recently had a pre-purchase exam done and um, it, it was noted that we had an arrhythmia on pre-purchase. So to better characterize the arrhythmia, we're actually gonna do a Holter monitor, which is a long-term monitoring device that allows us to record the ECG. It allows us to do that for a 24-hour period. We're actually working in conjunction with the new Bolton Center, so we'll be attaching the leads today. We'll be collecting an ECG for a continuous 24 hours. It'll be sent up to the new Bolton Center where they will interpret the ECG and uh, send us a report and we'll figure out what we need to do next. So let's get started. The first thing we've done, you notice we've already clipped the three areas, one down here on the sternum, one at the base of the heart, and one up by the withers. To that, we're gonna attach our ECG trodes the little peeling sticks. So we're gonna peel our ECGs. These stick right onto the skin. Put another lead here. And we're gonna put one more, thank you, Riley. One more down under our belly. All right. Now once those are attached, we'll connect our leads. These go in a very specific order. You'll see this, what the styr purpose of the styrofoam is for in a moment. All right, we've got all of our leads attached. So Riley, if you'll go on the other side. The next part that will attach, we have to hold these in place. So we'll lay this blue elastic strap over. All right, let's tighten that up just a little bit. Once that's in place, we will attach our ECG. All right, when you look on the screen, we can actually see our ECG on the screen. So if you look, you can see our ECG is transmitting. This device can actually record for up to seven days. So once we know we've got a good waveform on our ECG, we'll get him fitted up for the monitor and get him back comfortably in the stall. We will use a sir single to help hold this in place. Um, so that way he can lay down. He doesn't have to stay tied, doesn't have to stay standing. So we're just attaching the ECG to the sir single. We like to keep it on top of the horse so there's less likely to actually damage the machine. The main point of the surcingle is to help keep the electrodes attached to the horse so he's free to move around the stall. Now the surcingle is attached, we've got to do something with our excess wires. So we will simply run these up, place them into the protective pouch on the surcingle. This pocket will be zippered shut. We're just tucking the wires in loosely behind the sir single. We don't want them to hang up on anything overnight. So those are in. We're gonna double check our ECG one more time and make sure we are still recording. Yep, we got a great waveform. Everything looks perfect. So here we are back in the stall. Holter monitor set, we've got an ECG going. The great thing about having the service available through New Bolton is we're able to do this procedure in the comfort of our hospital. Before this, your horse would have to go to the university. We'd have leads coming out of the horse and back hardwired to a monitor. It wasn't comfortable for the horses. This will allow for a 24-hour ECG. We'll be able to detect the arrhythmia. It'll be read by a cardiologist. As you can see, Fargo's comfortable as he could be. No stress, no worries. This allows for a worry-free examination. Thanks for watching this video. We here at Countryside Equine sincerely appreciate it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. Also, for you watching on Facebook, hit that like and share. We'll see you next time. Thanks.